finally leaving Bali tomorrow. This is my last night. After spending 17 whole days in this beautiful place, it's called the Island of the Gods. Uh, I can't believe I'm finally packing to head to my next destination. Um, while I was packing, I was just, you know, putting on my shopping stuff in my suitcase. I realized before I do that, why not make this video to actually show you what all I have bought and the price I have paid for it and also share some tips and tricks with shopping in Bali if you're planning to travel here anytime soon. So let's get started on what you can buy in Bali or what you should buy in Bali and also what are the things you should keep in mind while shopping in Bali. The pandemic has affected the entire world including Bali and Bali is a place that thrives on tourism. So as much as it is good to haggle for the decent price, um, I would still say that if you have, if you feel that you've not haggled enough or if, if you haven't bargained enough, you should not feel too bad about it because in the end you are supporting the local community of uh, Bali. Um, you should actually come here and witness how people invite you to shop at their little tiny kiosks and stalls. It's just amazing how welcoming and friendly the people of Bali are and uh, how much they love to show people their culture, what they have in store for you and you can actually see in their eyes that they want people to support them financially. The economy of Bali has been pretty low since last 2-3 years, lower than before. Uh, for obvious reasons, the pandemic and um, I think it's good to support them as much as we can and I think this doesn't stand only for Bali, it stands for every developing country that you visit. So let's get started on the main meat of this video which is what all I have bought firstly and um, I'll also tell you how much I have paid for it and how did I go about haggling. If you're in Bali, you will notice there will be multiple shops uh, everywhere, especially in two big places, which is Ubud and Changu. They have the most beautiful, amazing markets to buy local Balinese stuff. Besides that, you will also find a lot of uh, supermarkets where you can buy local coffee, you can buy local uh, spices and stuff like that. But if you want to buy like clothes, I think Ubud market uh, and Changu markets are the best for shopping. Uh, everywhere else, it gets more expensive, especially in places like Kuta and Salinia. Um, I actually came back to Ubud during my last two days. I am currently in Ubud and I decided to do my last minute shopping here because I know it is the cheapest compared to other places in Bali. So let's get started. The first thing that I actually bought was this beautiful dress. You will actually find this everywhere, this dress. Uh, I have already worn it in a lot of my videos and pictures and I'm going to link um, some of them here as well. I went to this amazing, amazing market open on weekdays and weekends from I think 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's called Love Anchor in Changu. It's a beautiful, artsy, aesthetic market and it's just really nice to take pictures there as well. If you don't end up shopping, you, can, you must definitely check it out irrespective because uh, it's a little fancier than the other markets. But um, the stuff that you get there is pretty much similar to what you get anywhere in Bali. Uh, I would say it's slightly more expensive as well but I didn't have a problem with that because I knew that I was supporting the local homegrown brands there and uh, I did bargain there. You can still bargain the same amount as you do in the local markets of Ubud and Changu. So I got this and I got this beautiful crochet set as well which I will also link pictures of here. So I got this and these two dresses along with these two scrunchies for the hair. This was a buy one get one offer. All of this together totals up to around 2,500 rupees which is around 495,000 IDR which is the Indonesian rupiah. Uh, I don't think this is very expensive to be honest. Uh, I think I did overpay a little bit, I could have bargained more but um, I think I did my best as well, I didn't want to push too much. 
so all of this together for 2500 is honestly not a bad deal according to me you will get similar prices in the obud market as well the next thing i got was so i was actually on my way from sanur which is a port to obud and my cab driver stopped on the way to show me this traditional Indonesian market. And that market blew me away because it had everything else but clothes and stuff. It had clothes but very less. It had these Indonesian snacks, chocolates, coffee, uh, handicrafts, everything in one place. It was a two floor uh, market and it was amazing. I got like a sticker, like a welcome sticker saying that, you know, you're, you're, I'm in this market and there were these local people there helping me out pick vegetarian snacks. So this is what I got. These are fried spinach chips. Apparently they're very local Bali and this costed me around less than 50 bucks. This was around 50, 55 rupees actually. Uh, that's 10,500 IDR. And then I got these corn peanut chips. They are also fried. Uh, this costed me around 90 rupees, which is 18,000 IDR. And this is something that I've already tried and I've loved it, which is why I got it again. And I want my family to try this. These are tempeh chips. Tempeh is basically a vegetarian protein sauce and they make chips out of it and they actually serve it in restaurants as well. It is so good. I highly recommend you to buy this one. It's vegetarian. Um, so it's definitely a big yes if you're a vegetarian. This costed me around 15,500 IDR, which is about 75-80 rupees. I also got this sambal chips, which I haven't tried yet. I'm excited to try this. These are basically, sambal is like the spice, chili spice sort of a thing which is available only in Indonesia, it's very Indonesian and they have chips of that flavor so I'm excited to try this tomorrow. This costed me around 20 or 30 rupees, not more than that. So I love cats, I also have two cats at home. So I got these cute openers, bottle openers in the shape of a cat. One for my cousin and one for my brother. So um, this costed me around 40,000 IDR, which is 200 bucks, 200 rupees. So 100 rupees each. Not bad at all. This was after bargaining. She quoted me around 100, I think, and I got it down to 40. So yes, you must bargain because uh, they will over overcharge you and they will quote you much higher, 3x higher as well. If if I may say that. So you must go down as much as possible, but even if you don't go down lower, like if you give up at some point, it's okay because you are supporting the, the local communities. It's not a problem. And lastly, this is something that I have been wanting since day one in, in Bali. And I finally managed to get it yesterday. This is a bag. You open it and you can actually keep your phone, you can keep your um, money or whatever you want. It's big enough. There are smaller sized bags as well and you will find this everywhere in Bali. It's a very, very Bali thing to buy. Uh, it's Honestly, it's very, very common. So I was in two minds whether I should buy it or no. But I really like it as well. I, I just love the shape of it and how it looks on me. And I am pretty sure I'm going to use it as well. So I bought it anyway. Um, this normally people will charge you anywhere between... 150 to 300 for this particular bag depends on where you buy it from Ubud is definitely reasonable and people will bargain and bring it down but there are tons of places which will overcharge you and sell this for 350 IDR as well 350,000 IDR which is r ridiculously priced um, so I got this for 75,000 IDR um, I do know people who got this for 70 or 50k IDR as well now, I don't feel too bad about it because it's not a very big difference. 75 IDR is about 350 rupees. Um, so I don't think it's, I think it's a good buy and it's a good price to pay for this. So that's pretty much about it. Oh yes, this is the last thing I got. 
There are two more things actually, sorry. Um, I won't be able to open this, but I'm going to share a video of what I have bought. It's basically salad spoons and a smoothie bowl, which is made of barley teak wood. There are tons of these wooden shops selling everything made of teak wood. And they are so, so beautiful, so lightweight firstly. It's very important that these are lightweight, so it's easy to carry and travel around with. Uh, this is the reason I bought this and they're extremely reasonably priced. So these are proper shops where you cannot haggle at all. So these are fixed prices but the prices are actually very very reasonable in my opinion because I have travelled to other places and I have seen these same kind of products which were almost 2x more or 3x more. So I think these are, these are really good uh, for the price you pay. I bought the salad spoons and fork for 60k idea which is about 300 rupees and I got the smoothie bowl for around the same price which is around 300 and I think it's honestly worth the money and lastly I think there is this coffee called the Luvak coffee which I wanted to buy so Luvak is basically this animal whose poop is used to make a certain kind of a coffee and it's apparently the most expensive coffee in Indonesia. The reason I didn't end up buying that is because of the way the animals are treated while making the coffee. They're kind of caged. So I feel that is ethically wrong and I just don't feel like buying it after that. But I did buy local Balinese coffee uh, without luwak for my family and friends and uh, unfortunately that is bubble wrap. So I won't be able to show you but the coffee here costed me around 170 to 200 rupees per packet of 150 grams i will probably link a video of that coffee as well i am sure i have a video or a picture of it so i'm going to link it in this video and uh, that's pretty much about what i've shopped till now i have one last thing to buy tomorrow while i'm going to the airport which is a postcard i always buy a postcard from every place the postcards here cost around 4000 to 5000 idr which is basically 20 rupees or 50 rupees at the most so it's pretty cheap and then I'll be 100% done with my Bali shopping and this is pretty much about it there are tons of other clothes that you can buy for men there are really nice floral shirts and stuff you get these beautiful earrings uh, you also get surfboards with your name printed on it um, I think that's a good souvenir to have there are tons of such things you will find on the streets of Ubud and Chengu markets I would highly recommend you to shop from there and make sure to bargain because 100% you're going to be overcharged every single place. So bargain up to 70%, 60%, 50% is up to you how much you can go for. But do haggle a little or more as per your capacity and make sure you get a good price for everything. And um, one last thing, if you're really into food, you can try going to supermarkets and buying the sambal powder and also the nasi goreng powder. These are vegetarian dishes and local Indonesian spices are, are also a good souvenir to buy according to me. I personally didn't feel like buying this time, but you definitely can if you are really into cooking and experimenting with different cuisines, then this is another good buy for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more coming up in terms of Bali and uh, I've already uploaded some videos. So I hope you're following me. Do like, share, comment and subscribe as always. And I'm so happy to be on YouTube and share my vegetarian travel journey with you. See you next Wednesday.